So imagine two bullets are fired together more than a mile apart, striking each other head on at full speed. That's what scientists in Switzerland have now done, except they use subatomic particles moving at near the speed of light. And they say the success of this experiment using the Hadron Collider will now shed new light on the Big Bang and answer some of the most exciting questions about the universe. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics professor, host of the new Science Channel series, Sci-Fi Science, Physics of the Impossible, based on his best-selling book, Nice to See You. I like that graphic there. We'll cue that up and roll that for you again. Okay. Okay? So you got this giant donut, right? Mm -hmm. It's being used to smash particles together right. to simulate the Big Bang from so many years ago. Mm -hmm. They worked on this sucker for 16 years. That's right. They finally did it, and you say it's only a pea shooter. Compared to <laughs> Mother up? Nature, right? <clears throat> well, look, 10 billion euros, the work of over 5,000 physicists over 16 years, and the machine is finally operational. And I say so it's a what? Great day. What does it do for us? Because we're going to unravel the secret of the Big Bang, where it came from, what happened before creation, what happened before Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and also maybe even answer eternal questions like time. Is time travel possible? Are there other dimensions? Are there parallel universes? We can get hints, glimmers of these cosmic questions with this machine. So you think we can figure out what happened before the Big Bang? You think we can figure out whether or not time travel is possible That's because right. of what they're doing on the French-Swiss border? That's right. We're going to find not just particles. We're going to try to prove a theory called string theory, which is what I do for a living. String theory exists in 10, 11-dimensional hyperspace and other dimensions. And it actually says that maybe our universe was created by the collision of two other universes. And maybe our universe is a bubble of some sort, and there are other bubbles out there, other expanding and contracting bubbles. And what would bubbles. these other bubbles mean to you? These are other universes where perhaps there could be other laws of physics. I mean, this is huge. Really? This is greater than the Copernican Revolution when we realize that there are stars and, and, Holy and, cow. and galaxies uh, out there. We've been bringing you on for three years. You've never talked like this before. Well, this is what I do for a living. Some people think it's too hard to understand, but I think the average person can realize, hey, these are words you hear in Star Trek, right? Uh -huh. These are concepts you hear, but no one ever works on these things. That's why, that's what the Large Hadron Collider So you, you're in. putting this up there with Sir Isaac Newton and gravity. Mm -hmm. You're putting that up there with Thomas Edison and electromagnetism. That's right. You're putting that up there with Albert Einstein and E equals MC squared, which led to nuclear power. Right. That's what you're writing about today in the Wall Street Journal. That's it's right. That it's that significant? It's that big. We're talking about unifying all the forces of nature. There are four forces that make the world move. Each time a force was unraveled, it unleashed the Industrial Revolution, the Electric Revolution, and now the Nuclear Revolution. And now we have a super force, a super force that we're going to try to unravel, which created the universe. But, but what does that lead to? Do, well, do, do we know yet? We don't know yet. Now, in the short term, people say, will I get, get better color television? Will I get better internet reception? Cell service. <laughs> yeah. Know. And the answer is no. These are cosmic questions, questions that don't impinge directly on uh -huh. our lives. All right, now listen, I read your piece today in the Wall Street Journal. Well done, by the way, and I recommend it to viewers at home. You wrote about something in here that I never knew. Ronald Reagan approved this to be built outside of Dallas, Texas. Right. They spent a billion dollars, dug a giant hole, and nothing happened. Right. In 1993, they spent another billion dollars and filled in the hole. Mm -hmm. And now all these physics professors who are conducting these experiments in Europe, it could have been happening here at home. And you're suggesting there's a bit of a brain, brain drain brain, from right? the United States to right. Europe to pursue projects like these. Right. This machine could have been our machine. Ronald Reagan won a machine three times bigger than this pea shooter in Geneva, Switzerland. But Congress canceled it, and now the Europeans are creating the new Vatican of physics, Physicists are leaving the United States to go to Geneva, Switzerland. They get this brand new machine, and what do we get? Oh. We get a $2 billion hole. Who made that call? The United States Congress canceled the machine over the objections of President Ronald Reagan. Yeah. We don't like being number two, but we like having you. Michio, thank you. Michio Kaku with us today. Fascinating so stuff. So a billion dollars to, to dig the hole. Yeah. To build this. So billion we can do dollars it here at home. To fill in the and hole. a billion dollar decision yeah. by Congress. Fill it in, yeah. and now brain drain to that's Europe. That's what we get. Of all places, they get the machine. We get a hole. Wow, yeah. that's a, that's interesting. That's interesting to cook over. Thank you very much, Michio. Thanks, Bill. All right. This.